What's up guys, in this video today we go down to the creek, we're going to do some trout fishing today. Uh, we'll see what we can do, get on a few Well look guys, we have a little fly rod around here so they can't uh, fool one of these trout with a little woolly bugger. Smooth down here a little bit. I am by all means, I am by all means not much of a fly fisherman, but uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm just working it. I'm just working this hole here in sections, trying to cover a good amount of water. See if anything here wants to chase it. Well, that ain't good. I was trying to spin it through this little hole here. I just ran a ran a fly rod through it. Didn't have much luck, but um, let's see if anything comes with a spinner. Cast number one came out empty. Let's see. I'm making a... Throwing one down there. No, we'll keep fishing around, see what happens. Guys, the woolly bugger just got hit. We just got our first hit here on the fly rod. I'm gonna throw this woolly, but I'm gonna fish this back in there so we can't give him the hit. See, it's kind of like right near where that, uh, like under that stick right there. So, yeah, kind of about right out there. We're gonna pitch it back out there. Hopefully, it didn't feel that hook. You may have felt the hook that time, but, um, it's a good solid hit. Right, but I really wanna get one on this fly rod for y'all. I don't think I've ever caught a fly rod fish on this channel. I don't think so. I don't ever think I caught one on the fly rod for y'all. At least out of a, I know not out of this creek. Let's see if he hits. I know he's in here. All right. We're gonna change flies here real quick, see what happens. Well guys, I guess I'm done fly fishing right now. I just broke my dang leader off. Do me forgot to bring extra leader material, so uh, I guess we'll be sticking with a spin rod for right now. But uh, yeah, I want to see here. It's my first time. I, I've been only throwing a fly in here, so I just want to see if if they'll hit a spinner or not. Put it down there. All right. Probably saying I'm fishing this hole too fast, but this is a spot. This is a spot where I had to hit. So, uh, um, see if he comes back for it. Ooh, that was a chase. There was a chase right there. Um, let's see if he, let's let's throw back in there. I saw him. So let me get this fish here real quick. All right, guys, if you remember, this is a spot where I caught the 17 and a half incher from the last video. So uh, let's see if anyone's home in here. Yeah, it's right there in the money zone. So let's see if anyone hits. Nothing yet, but I remember when he hit it, he hit it, kind of hit it about where it is now. Kind of hit it like close to the bank. Well, not close to the bank, but right at the base of that tree. Pitch it back out there. That was terrible. That was terrible. Let's pitch it back in there. Yeah, work it nice and slow in there. See if anyone comes out for it. All right. Keep trucking along. Oh. Guys, we just lost a wild brown here on the Joe Flat. That was a good one, too. Oh, my God. Heartbreaking. Man, that was heartbreaking. That would have been my first brown of the year, too. Ugh. 
He came from right, came from right out under there. Um. We'll see if they get another one, guys, but that sure, that sure is irritating. All right, guys, I want to talk to you about something that's going to be happening here in a few weeks. They're going to be doing a uh, gold rush docking, which is in West Virginia. It's like a, um, I know a lot of y'all lot of West Virginia people that follow the channel here know what it is, obviously, but uh, those of you who don't, it's like a special trout stocking where they have like, I think they're doing like 60 streams this year and they're stocking them all with uh, golden trout. And it's from, uh, I've been doing some research on it. It's from, uh, said it's from March 23rd through Saturday, April 3rd. So um, that should be a lot, plenty of time for them to be stocking plenty of golden trout. Um, what I want to do is uh, go up there and uh, see if I can't get one, uh, get up, get, you know, get a full string, string of just golden trout. But um, the thing is, is I, just, I don't have much luck with the gold trout at all because last time I went to the gold rush, which was 2019, um, they didn't, and it, and, and it was like, um, it was the day they stalked it and we got there before the stock truck showed up and um, didn't have much luck that day. But, uh, yeah, but I feel like the problem was was going the day they stalked, which probably had something to do with it, but because no one's catching any fish that day. But I want y'all's input. I want baits I should throw for golden trout. I've heard I've heard freaky freaks been really good. Um, of course, you know I me. Mean, I'll throw my Joe fly a little bit, but I want y'all's input about um, what to throw for those goldies. But yeah, we'll see. See what happens here in a few weeks. We got a feisty one here, gentlemen. Let's see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna release. This is the one I think I hit by fly earlier. This is the one I missed on the fly hit rod a minute ago. Um. We're gonna release this guy. Which of course y'all never seen me do. That's yeah, alright. Um. Well, there he goes, guys. Quick release. See that? Quick release, guys. Well, we obviously found the money hole here because I just got another one. Huh. You know what? Let's go ahead and wet our hands nice and good because this is the exact same next cast. I just caught another one. Um, check us out. Would you stop flopping? Try to get you unhooked. Yeah, we could definitely turn this guy loose. Nice trout. Go for the release. All right, let's see. Maybe we get some underwater footage of him. Let's see, he's right there. Bye bye fish, enjoy your life. Guys, look at turning on this. Oh, we just, we just missed another one out front of that stick right there. So let's pitch that, uh, that Joe fly back in there. Oh, he hit it again. It's getting technical right here. It's a bad cast. All right, all right. We can work with that. We can work with that. Kind of give it a nice, easy pitch in there without cashing the daggum tree. Now maybe we the same fish I just turned loose. The one that just had a quick release on. Because sometimes these stockies are stupid. All right. I'll keep trying. We got another one, guys. Look at them jumps. Oh my God. <laughs> Probably about caught every fish out of this hole at this point. At least hooked every fish. You dumb people leave fish down in the creek. Some acrobatics here. We got some acrobatics. 
got exactly what I'm talking about when I mentioned the fishing line thing earlier. If it's gonna come out or not, but guys, pick your damn fishing line up. It's not that hard to do. I mean, especially you got someone's hook out there. Just nasty. Well, guys, wanna wrap, that's gonna wrap it up for the day's fishing. Um, a little bit of a slow day. We did find the honey hole where we did hook three fish. We hooked one wild brown. I didn't get the flight on camera though, but sometimes that's how it goes sometimes. It was a nice brown too. It's about, it was, it was probably a good seven, eight inch wild brown. And you know, it's not, it had, it was, you know, nice and chunky and had some Alex fins and whatnot. I mean, that would've been my, that would've been my first brown deer if I would've, if I would've landed it. But uh, yeah. Um, Anyway, I look forward to more content like this in the future. If you like more trout content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.